Hello, St. Luke family, our friends, our well wishes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and let's be glad today that God allowed us uh, to see the day, to be in the day and enjoy the day. It's rained today a bit and now the sun is out, but that's life, isn't it? Real life is balanced with rain and, and sunshine and they both, of course, are good, are good for you. All rain makes swampy jungles in our all sunshine makes uh, hot deserts. And so you got to have that balance. So it's good to be here. I'm Pastor T.C. Johnson. We're here at the St. Louis Christian Church in Huntsville, Alabama. Had a wonderful Bible study last week. Again, I would like to thank those who participated. On Monday night, we dealt with estate planning. On Tuesday night, we dealt with uh, insurance. And then on Wednesday night, we talked about uh, Jesus' teaching on on how to use money it was uh, uh, the class about you know some have five some have two some have one and it's expected that you use what you have to be productive um and if you can't use what use it to be productive then you put it in a place where it'll grow interest and so we talked about some of those things on wednesday night on thursday night we, we talked about um a better we in 23 organizing the church in a way that there are councils for um, the youth, councils for the teen, councils for the young adult, councils for the seniors. There was already a council for men, a council for women, but we're getting those organized in 23 so that you can participate in um, what it is that you would like to see and what it is the church can do as the assembly of God as we come together to deal with issues, to deal with um, exposure, uh, to deal with learning that, that may be specific for men, may be specific for women, may be specific for families. So there'll be, there'll be a family council as well. And that council will be, uh, these councils will be designed to um, explore and, 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 and con be concerned with issues that are uh, those various groups are dealing with by way of education, uh, by way of exposure, mean, meaning uh by way of recreation and exposure. So I'm excited about what we're going to be doing here in the next um, six months and organizing the church in a way that it speaks and addresses the issues. We also got to think about what we do outside these walls by way of evangelism, or if not, well, the evangelism has to do with getting people to know God uh, through our actions, behavior, and our conduct. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more but they're not going out to just bring people into our church, but to bring people to know that there is a God, that God does love them, and treat them in a way that they want to be a part. Because so many people have suspicions about the church, about us. Um, some think that we are, mm, so they have wrong thoughts about us so and won't come. So we have to be able to just say, go ye, go ye. Go ye. I want to be a better we in 2023. Go ye and let them see who we really, really are. So having said that, it's announcements time. Let me just say to you, um, thank all of you for working Saturday. We had um, a community uh, fun day. And I need to be asking questions about the timing because a lot of people were gone on their early summer vacation with their children. We're doing that a lot more now. So we may need to shift the VBS time and do it in a different um, setting. The other thing I want to ask you, if there are subjects that you want bought to uh, VBS or any other time period, please, please, please go online and um, we'll, we'll have something online to say, hey, you suggest that we teach on whatever, what we've gotten a lot of that. People were glad to talk that we talked about wheels and estate planning and learned about it. We brought in a professional. We brought in the insurance agents to talk about uh, insurance and they're willing to do these things uh, again. And it's all online actually from last week. But I want to thank those who worked at the Fun Fest. The men cooked up some food. Uh, women cooked up some food, some desserts. We just had an abundant amount. And I'm thankful. Uh, and thank you. I know you were tired. I was tired as well. So we are oh, thankful for that being um, as positive as it was. And hopefully someone said to us uh, this weekend, hopefully someone said, can we do this again before we go back to school? 
and have it as a family friend event instead of coming to church having a family and friend event coming to the say that's a great idea got to talk to those people who got to work hard to get it done but certainly it was a good time uh now i want you to deal with our sick i want you to keep on the prayer list and i have you know i'm, I'm so thankful got a text message today talked to a sister last night whose son is uh having a was having um um open heart surgery this morning at 18 years old and of course in the family my god i it, but the the text came back as i said to the family last night i, I have no inclination everything is going to be wonderful everything's going to be there's you know and so at any rate uh got the text back uh the doctors were surprised at how well the procedure went keep praying his name is uh brother uh silas sparks and family keep praying for them uh like i say to you sometimes parents only parents understand the difficulty and the way one feels and the hurt one goes through when they cannot protect and care for their their child and we want you to continue to pray we thank you for praying for it keeps uh little sister amy cunningham in prayer as well mother liberta uh, jackson and Brother Jackson, keep them in prayer. Brother Kid, uh, Sister Veronica Rice's father, be sure to continue to pray for, pray for him, um, and um, our, our, our seniors, all of our seniors, keep them in prayer. Deacon Ellison, uh, Sister uh, Ellison, Tiny Ellison, keep her in prayer. All of our seniors, uh, Mother Dixon, Sister Audrey, uh, keep all of them in prayer. We pray that their these years be their happiest years and they won't be burdened uh and hurt hurting during this particular part of their life and living in misery so let's keep our seniors in prayer brother mingo ponder brother burris keep them in prayer um as well keep our uh, mount olive brothers and sisters in prayer each of them god's doing um gonna do some great work with my Olive. i just feel it in my spirit god's gonna do some great work Let's put Mount Olive on our prayer list. And thank you, St. Luke, for help, letting us support Mount Olive the way um, that you that you do. They're getting ready for Youth uh, Day coming up pretty soon here. I believe it's the fourth Sunday, Sunday after next Youth Day is coming. And uh, our speaker for Youth Day, uh, I think they selected Sister Latasha. Minister Natasha McCurry to bring that message and that message theme. The theme of the day is um, um, train up a child in the way they, they go. And when they're old, they will not depart from it. A, a wise word that we hear quite often, understanding what train, teaching, mean, te train means teaching and showing, teaching and showing, and letting them participate in, you know, just telling me how to make up the bed, yeah, I should. But showing me how to make up the bed, that's teaching. Showing me how to make up the bed is, is a part of training, then allowing me uh, an opportunity to make up the bed. And I'm going to make some mistakes. I'm not going to make it up as well as you do, but ensuring that I participate. So you're teaching and you're training. And you're, so you're not just telling. You're not telling people what, uh, what not to do. You're showing them uh, as well as telling them. So that's going to be that subject that's going to be challenging. So I look forward to hearing that. Listen, um, I know that um, uh, we're living in these days and these times. And uh, just want you to know that uh, God loves us. God is still in charge. God is still in control. And listen, I'm getting ready for our word and worship. And I want you to stay uh, faithful I'm so thankful to hear that mom last night, her son's going in open heart surgery to hear how she talked about God is already healed. That's what faith is. Faith reached to a future event and get the joy of knowing that God is going to come through. So though the event has not happened, faith rejoices now for faith is the substance of things hoped for. And when you got that real good faith, you can rejoice prior to the thing uh, materializing. Thank you, God. Thank you for what you're going to do in this case. And you don't have to be um, reluctant to do that. Thank you, God. So 
This is Pastor Johnson. These are our announcements to make sure you govern yourself according to that announcement. Again, thank you for the work that you do to make St. Luke um, have an impact in our community. We'll see you in a little while with Word and Worship.